Ian McKelvey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, what an exciting week to uh, be a member of the government. A, uh, a, gov a budget to look forward to, a budget that will set the trend for the next three years and beyond. Uh, a very exciting time to be part of this government. Mr. Speaker, we live in a country with local communities that are seeing a lift in provincial uh, activity, small towns that are turning around, populations now growing, albeit slowly, a considerable change from three years ago. Mr Speaker, to listen to James Shaw, who has a very jaundiced view of our rivers, and Mr Robinson, who's clearly uh, read the uh, Mary Poppins uh, uh, serials too often and that he's perfect in every way, you'd think the country was coming to an end. We are, Mr Speaker, doing better competing and competing effectively because of an economy that's primarily based on food production and tourism in a part of the world where we have unique advantages which we must protect. Our, advice, our isolation gives us invaluable protection from air, land-borne pests that may enter the, uh, the uh, food chain. MPI has a vital role in ensuring these are not carried into the country by those tourists who are the other part of our economy's current strength. The other considerable advantage we have is our pure New Zealand slogan and the magnificent environment that underpins this. We must continue to protect and enhance this through great science and, and, and investment in new and sustainable farming practices, investment in pest control in our conservation estate, and continued investment in the freshwater cleanup. Doing so will ensure our tourism industry, which relies so heavily on the environment, will continue to prosper and grow. There is another strong driver of our economy, and that is the IT sector. Mr Speaker, whether it's innovative new products coming to the market, such as Orion Health or Xero's uh, accounting packages, or people and families who are able to work from home running very successful businesses both internationally and locally because of the government's drive to improve rural connectivity. One of the great uh, secrets to uh, New Zealand's future prosperity. It also uh, is important in our ability to grow our rural populations, which is absolutely essential and that we need those people in the workforce to support our tourism industries and the agricultural uh, food production sector. This year's budget will provide some $14.4 million to further uh, promote apprenticeships, enabling enough further 5,500 people to train in a vocation that will lead to work opportunities. The very exciting thing about the growth in apprenticeships can be clearly seen in places like Taramanui, where you, Cole, have invested in, in providing a certificate in carpentry to young people, getting them started on the pathways to an apprenticeship and work. It's resulting in a near 100 per cent success rate. Mr Speaker, this leads me to the opportunity we have as a country to enable people to live and work in more isolated parts of this beautiful country. We already have the infrastructure, not perfect in some cases, but there. We already have the houses, again not perfect, but there. We now have the opportunity for work and in many areas as a result of the worldwide demand for quality food, tourism and lifestyle opportunities. Mr Speaker, only this morning in this House we heard the first reading of the uh, Whanganui River Claim Settlement Bill, which will further increase the opportunity for work and consequently for people to return to live and work in places like Pipariki and Taumanui on the river's edge. Very exciting for provincial New Zealand, Mr Speaker. If we concentrate on providing environments that people want to live in, opportunities for jobs and tools they need to work, we don't need to continue to follow the route to urbanisation the rest of the world has followed. We don't need to continue the fight to live in Auckland. The policies of this government will give people the incentive to live and work in provincial New Zealand. This in turn will eventually take the pressure off the enormous growth that Auckland, Tauranga and Hamilton are seeing at present. Mr Speaker, Mr Speaker, I am a uh, Go to Northland and have a look. Go to Northland and have a look. Mr Speaker, I am pleased to report that the house prices are moving in the Rangitiki. There is opportunity for new work. New Zealanders are seeing opportunity to move back home, not only from the two great A's, Australia and Auckland, but also from other parts of our great country. Thank you, Mr Speaker.